Hi everyone, welcome to Truth Prevails. Um, I'm basically um, gonna, going to cover this uh, article. Um, I think it was originally written by Daily Beast, but it's right here on Yahoo News. Um, after reading this a few times, I've decided that I think this is something that should be covered. Not, 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 the, not the content, but the motive behind Laura Bradley writing this article. Um, this article here says Johnny Depp reportedly sabotaging his career comeback with old habits. First of all, his career never went anywhere. Thank you very much. He's not sabotaging anything. He was, you know, he, he's going to be fine. Old habits, and then they left the comments on. So there is there is something they're trying to do here because they know for a fact most people aren't going to read, do a four minute read. Most people are going to skim over this article and they're going to go to the comment section. They're going to go, yes, I was I watched a trial, old habits, and then they're going to take the character assassination from there. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue here. This is written by Laura Bradley. December 27th, 2022. Now, why is this date significant? We're going into a new year and people are making their New Year's resolution. This tells me that this is what we should expect next year um, in terms of articles written about Johnny Depp. Now, what's re what really struck me when I read this, when I saw this the first time was, this is about Johnny Depp. This is like a clickbait. Why is she here? why this woman is not relevant anymore like not at all no one wants to read about her so what do they do they write an article with his name and stick her in it so at least now we know she's gonna be in this article that we're about to read i'm not gonna read the whole thing i'm gonna skim through it like most people do um but yeah they're gonna there's this is basically a rumor so again it's a four minute rumor it means that the rumor is a small part of this and they're going to stick a whole bunch of things into it. But this is an actual rumor that they're actually printing. And it's spreading all over the internet like wildfire. It's a rumor. It's not news. There is no evidence. It's a rumor. And it's a rumor that was um, shared back in October. Why are we talking about it now in December? I think someone's panicking. That's my own personal opinion. I think someone's panicking. No one wants to read what she what she writes, what she tweets. No one's liking her posts. So now we're gonna in December try to dig dirt two month from two months ago and put it on here. And I think that's what this is. So they talk about um, it's going very very badly. Again, I'm 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 basically just going for places where um, uh, things that will catch someone's eye if they were skimming through this article. This is by a director that gets angry. But again, I don't know this director. Many people don't know this director. The person whose reputation is on the line is Johnny Depp. So that's basically who this is about. Um, and I guess this is the video for it. Again, I'm, th this is supposed to be a short video. Um, I'm not going to go into it, plus it's also in French. So I'm just going to go into just, yeah. Why is her name here? This is about the movie he made in France. La Favorite. This is not, it has nothing to do with her. Why is her name here, right? If we keep going down even more, we're going to get her name again. Now we're getting the name of a business manager, an ex-business manager, who Johnny Depp sued for money. And I think he either won or they settled. I, I, one of those two. But basically, there was wrongdoing on their part. And so, but these people testified against him. So they're putting this in with this rumor that's not confirmed it's a rumor a rumor that he 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 comes to work late that's a rumor when was this film this was filmed after the trial between uh you know between his tours he came to trial every day on time um the tour he was at every concert. No one, no one complained. Oh my God, he didn't show up. He was at every concert. In between, within, you know, he took some time out from the, the tour to film this and then came back. How come everything he did during the trial, he was there every day on time. 
the concerts, everything was fine. And now you're telling me there's a rumor of him not being there on time. So I just feel like, you know, again, in my opinion, this is just a hit piece. Before the end of the year, they're trying to sneak something else in there and sneak Amber Heard's name. Amber Heard, can, in my opinion, cannot stand by herself because if she can, why do they keep attaching her to Johnny Depp's articles? So this is this is her name right here. Let's go oop, her name her name right here again. And then they talk about the whole law suit all over again. Why is that being mentioned over here? This is a tiny rumor. Um, and then they put Amber Heard's whole statement, which people are clearly not wanting to like. 200,000 people, that's not a lot of likes. People don't like her statement. We don't, we don't want an abuser being, we don't want to be told that an abuser is a victim. No, we, don't, we don't like that kind of stuff. But they keep shoving this down our throats by sticking Amber Heard's statement into a Johnny Depp's article that has nothing to do with her. So, um, again, I, I just thought it was interesting that, you know, this article's here and it has nothing to do with this woman and they are sticking this in here. Now, the comments, um, one thing I've been trying to explain to people sometimes in social media is that while their tactics will not work on us, they won't. They could work on someone who is very busy, doesn't have a social media, didn't watch the trial, but has a few minutes to look over headlines on uh, Yahoo. You know, your mail's right here, right? And then you check out this article real quick. And then you go into the comments and you read the comments. The comments, you know, some are good, some are bad. But some people are actually believing these things. They're not thinking it through and they're believing what they're reading. And so it's very important that the media start printing truth and stop lying like start printing truth i'm gonna just for a second here really um just go over a little bit of what they're saying that you know he did i've heard some noise okay rumor hearsay from the shoot very serious stuff Montiel said so depp is an excellent actor when he comes on set except sometimes at six in the morning the crew is ready and nobody turns up so of course my when i'm sorry if i'm butchering the name who is the director gets angry and the next day she's the one who doesn't turn up and you've got johnny depp and she's not there it's finished over this weekend but it's going very badly it's over so how is it going very badly um but my point here is this this is i've heard some noise why are we printing some noise from october the shoot is over everything's done he's moved on so my opinion this is a heat piece number one number two she's not relevant anymore and um they're trying to force some relevance into it um one more thing i'm going to a few more things i'm going to mention um this matters this matters for you know i don't know johnny depp personally or anything but as a, any human being this matters for anyone's like uh mental health he could jump he could go into a burning building right now and save a brand new born baby and this is what they'll print on him they've decided that his career is dead when we, the public, know that his career is not dead, like we want to watch things from him. But I, so I don't know why the media is lying to us about what we want to see. Another thing I wanted to mention is that in, you know, Hollywood and studios and things like that, they, when they have, uh, uh, again, I don't work in Hollywood, I'm just speculating, but if they have a job and they have two or three options, Articles like this are noise. It's not okay that they continue to do this to him. We learned during the trial that horrible headlines like this can affect things. So media is pretty much choosing the winners and the losers in, you know, in the world. I don't think that's okay. Your job as journalists is to print the truth, not to choose to side with your abusive friend who you know is hitting people and throwing things at people. Like that is not okay. So I just I hope I hope things change. I hope twenty twenty three is a better year for Johnny Depp. Um, I wish that there were brave journalists out there that could literally just stand up and say, "Hey, if you write that article, I'm gonna write the truth," or even just challenge stuff like this. This is a rumor. 
but it's four minute read it, you know people are gonna comment people are going to read the comments and it just feeds into that one last thing i wanted to mention and this is about journalists as well i've seen journalists say but you please have empathy please be compassionate where is the compassion of Laura Bradley? This isn't an article that was not thought out. This person knew what they were doing. They wanted you to think that his career comeback is not working. A few days ago, they told us, oh, it's going to be hard for him to come back. So now they've changed it to he's coming back, but he's sabotaging it. Which, which is it? Is it coming back or is it not coming back? So um, and then with old habits. You know, where is her compassion? This man has been through enough. He went to trial. We saw everything about his life. This is a very private man. And this is what she comes out with. Where is her compassion? Where is the compassion of all the journalists that are out there to get him? That thing that they're being brave. They're superheroes for bringing down the bad man. No, he's not a bad man. Open your eyes. Step away from your echo chamber. And like, look, live in the real world. Listen to actual people. Instead of just listening to each other and telling each other that your friend, your close friend, your best friend is a victim. Like, watch the trial. Look at the evidence. And can you please start printing things that have evidence? As opposed to rumors that could ruin a man's life. People actually commit suicide because of stuff like this. So I, this is literally me talking to the media. I don't, the content here doesn't matter. The intent matters. One, one more thing, I thought I was done, but I'm not. One more thing, the journalists aren't gonna pay themselves. Advertising does. So you see this, this is advertisement number one. Let's see if there's another one. Let's see, there must be, yep, number two. Let's see, uh, I'm guessing this is one, I'm not so sure. Here is advertisement. See, ad, ad, Power Live. There we go. Um, and if you keep going down, there are more ads. My point is that you're using Johnny Depp's name to make money. If you hate him so much, why just like not drop his name? You hate him so much. You come here. You write rumors to ruin his name and stick your friend's statement thinking that we're going to magically start liking her statement. And then you get paid. See, all of these right here on the left, on the right, these are all ads, ad money. If I keep going down, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's more. My point is you're making money off of him. You're grifting. That's what I call that. But yet you want to call YouTubers grifters. You're making money too. Look, Petco, I, I missed this one in the beginning. So again, I hope journalists do a lot better next year we need brave brave ones brave people who are keeping their mouths shut and they know that this stuff is wrong to step out of the shadows and speak up and say this is wrong there's no way you learn this in journalism school to ruin people's names with rumors okay um thank you for you know everyone who took the, you know took a minute to watch this i really truly hope that next year 2023 is a better year Bye.